there's been a development. Originally, I was gonna wear this costume to my office party, but then some things happen, and long story short, I can't make it to the party, so... But then I thought, what is YouTube if not a place to show off your projects, right? I did a pretty terrible job of documenting my process, so to make up for it, I recreated the costume on my porg. First, I made my skirt. Jobu's skirt had pleats, but we're going to use this fabric with white stripes to fake it because I hate ironing. To make it look more fancy, I layered a sheer white fabric on top. This was an underskirt lining I got from the thrift store. I won't tell you how I made the skirt because I did a terrible job at it, but if I were ever to make it again, which I won't by the way, I would do what I did to the pork version, which is sewing it into a tube, making a channel on the top, and feeding an elastic through it. I did this with a big plastic needle I found in the sewing box and this elastic that used to be sewn into a bedsheet or something. The elastic fell off the needle. There, so little hassle, so little time. Next, I made the bagel headpiece with cardboard, black yarn, a headband, and some half pearls. I drew a bagel shape in the cardboard, leaving a tab on the bottom for hot gluing purposes, and cut it out. If you're making this for your pork, stab a little hole in the tab. I'm looking for the ice pick, I found my old scalpel from university that I thought I lost, so... This is a secret tool that will help us later. I painted this all black using this paint that I got from Stuart Semple, who you might know from the art fight over who was allowed to use the blackest black pigment in the world. You may also know that the other guy in this fight designed the bean in Chicago, but you might not know that it isn't actually called the bean, it's called Cloudgate which doesn't sound as cool as the bean if you ask me. The paint is dry now, so I wrapped some black yarn over the bagel to simulate hair because there was no way I could get my hair to do that in real life. In the full-size version, I also added some braids to the edge and the middle for visual interest. You also need some braids for this loop-de-doop -loop in the front and these sprigs on the sides. I wish there was an eloquent way to explain how I put this all together, but I just hot glued everything onto the headband and decorated it with pearls. But you might have realized it's not very easy to find a headband small enough to fit a porg, so instead I poked a sewing needle through that little hole we made earlier and stabbed that whole thing onto Porg's little noggin. I didn't tell you the Porg's name, huh? His name is Taco. I don't think you can buy him anymore. I made the belt out of a velcroed strip of fabric and hot glued some pearl garlands and clear beads onto it. Some of the beads were from the bead basket at the thrift store and some were forcibly taken from this candle holder. The garlands were from a long, bitter journey scouring through the craft section in five different thrift stores only to finally find some in the Christmas section. For Porg though, you can just get away with tying a single garland around his rotund little waist. I made some mini crystal strands for him too, and if you really want his costume to be accurate, you would also make some for the pearl neck piece too, which I made out of a white Costco t-shirt and a giant pearl garland that my cats loved. But since Taco doesn't have a neck, I skipped this whole process. The movie costume was a one-piece dress, but I made mine into two pieces for easier take on and off ability and also because I don't know how to make a dress. Speaking of things that were supposed to be one piece, the gloves. I made this tall shoulder part with a satiny pillowcase that smelled very strongly of aftershave. I cut these Lululemon shapes, sandwiched some zip ties inside to keep them standing up, and put Velcro on the side edges. The gloves were a separate entity that I purchased from the dollar store, and while I was there, I saw... <laughs> I guess I should've just waited for the Halloween decor to go up. Okay, one last piece to go. The dreaded neck ruffle. I made it out of whatever this wedding material is and trimmed it with some of that sheer underskirt fabric. I made something like five yards of this thing and then, and then I had to hand sew them all in place. Hand sew. But when it was done, it was probably the most legit looking piece of the costume, so I'm glad I didn't skimp out on it. Luckily for me, Pork already had a neck ruffle. Simple. You might have noticed that in the previous shot, Taco has a cape. It was made out of a scrap of that underskirt fabric with rhinestones hot glued on it. But I didn't make one for myself because I didn't want to. But I did add a zipper to the back of the Costco shirt because it was too hard to put on. I literally cannot explain why I did such a bad job cutting this. And the pearl garlands on the neck piece were flaking and yellowed, so I painted them with this pearly nail polish I got on sale. And now it's makeup time. I had a 
lot of trouble finding pearl garlands, but I also had a lot of trouble finding the right clear beads too. In the movie, it looks like they use these lamp beads you can find on Amazon, but I didn't want to spend $20. I thought they looked like um, chandelier crystals, so whenever I went out, I kept an eye out for abandoned chandeliers on the side of the road, but no such luck. I ended up using whatever clear beads I could find, even if the shapes didn't match. And you know, in the end, the accuracy doesn't really matter. What matters is that it still looked cool and I had fun. But after I finished the costume, I cleaned the house and I found some rogue chandelier crystals. And that's not all. At the thrift store, I came across this weird sculpture thing and it has the exact beads that I needed. So I guess the moral of the story is that sometimes the universe plays mean, mean tricks on you and that sometimes the solution to your problems is cleaning your house.